What's up guys? So we're on our way to get yet another Silverado. This one is an 03. We're going to check it out. It might be at the ultimate parts vehicle because it does have issues with the frame and the cab mounts on the cab. So we'll have a look. It's definitely good for parts for the two that I'm building. So we're gonna, it's a bit of a drive. So I think we're uh, just over an hour in. It's about two and a half hours to where, where we're going. So we're just stopping for coffee. And then once Ryan comes out of the typical Tim Hortons in Canada, then we'll be on our way. So if this guy's good with filming, uh, I'll record uh, looking at checking this truck out. Doesn't sound like there's too much wrong with it. So I'm really hoping it's cool because this was an 03, 53, four wheel drive Z71. It's loaded. It's got all the bells and whistles, leather and everything else. So we're going through the drive through because Ryan says it's too lined up inside. It seems to be the case lately. So anyways, this truck we're going to look at, it's an older couple, and uh, just by talking to them, they're old school, they're very polite, I think I'll get along great with them. So, uh, if we can record the, checking the truck out, we'll do, we'll do that and uh, carry on from there. So we did a thing, in case you can't tell. That's Ryan driving yet another Silverado. This one's a 2006 Z71 fully loaded and we'll have a better look when we get a chance to stop and get her all. I'll let you see it before we take the pressure washer to it. All right guys, we've got another one. So I picked this one up yesterday because the all the problems with the red one um, it seemed that this, I was going to need a parts truck. So I bought this one, but this one honestly is in better shape than the other one. So give me a second, I'll pop the hood and open the doors. So, 5.3, uh, same drivetrain as the other one. Uh, this one's doesn't look too bad. Like, supposedly the frame has a hole in it and one of the body mounts is out of it. But honestly, I've looked and I can't, they all look fine, but I haven't really had it on a hoist, so maybe that's the limiting factor. Uh, it doesn't seem to have too much in the way of get up and go, I'll say that. Um, it's got all new, br all new tires, calipers, rotors, pads, the whole bit. All the brakes are new. All the brake lines are new, he said. So they put all new brake lines in it. I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like they put a new master on recently. Oh, I see. Okay, they got, I thought that was, I was, didn't see the wire on top. Got my sunglasses on. Um, so they used this, this was a business truck. A school teacher bought it and has had it for 16, 17 years. And all they used it for was to pull their trailer when they went on vacation. Otherwise it just sat. So they'd use it three, four times a year, and that was it. So, but like the, you can see, there's moss here, there's moss here, there, there's moss everywhere. So this side of the truck is the bad side. Um, this is the side that was exposed to sun the whole time, and you can really tell on the tail lights. Um, but like, look, there's moss growing everywhere on it. We're gonna power wash it and see. Uh, this hole here was uh wasn't there until i touched it yesterday and a big chunk fell out but inside bose it's fully loaded um got everything like full leather and it's all in good shape like no rips even this seat here with like you can't complain this seat was way up because ryan had to sit in the back yesterday but uh yeah nice and clean other than the fact that it stinks from sitting, but I can clean that up and we'll shampoo it and give her a good clean up. Once we figure out which one we're going to use. So the, the front doors are solid. Both the back doors are bad at the bottom. Um, he said he had these done 12 years ago, I think he said. And they still look good. And like he only, but the problem is he had it sitting on on the grass 
under a tree. So you can see, I'll show you in a minute, the, they had mud daubers in the back. And, uh, and the, the thing was covered in cobwebs and everything else when we went to look at it. But like, look, brand new rubber. Like it's got less than 100 kilometers on it. Mind you, they're all seasons and I'll probably just end up selling them because we really have no use for them. Uh, back bumper is not too bad. We got a spot. Well, she's busted through there. So the back bumper is kind of toast. Let's see what else is in there. This is just stuff. This is Ryan's stuff that I threw in here. But you can see the mud daubers were starting in here. A couple of pieces of wood. And they had a fifth wheel on it, which has actually been installed correctly. And you can see the bracing there. You got the bracing there and the bracing there for mounting that to the frame as well as the box down through the box and everything. So it's all done right. This one's got nice quiet exhaust. So I think it had dual exhaust at one time because I can see where the other hangers have been cut off it. But uh, now it's got more of a factory setup on it and it's nice and quiet. I drove it two and a half hours back. So you can see this tail light. That's the one that was in the shade all the time. And this is the one that was uh, basically in the sun and it's all, the, cl the color's gone all out of it. Unless he's got some kind of cover on it maybe. Actually, it looks like he's got a cover on it. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna leave this box on. This tunnel, obviously, with you flip the things around and it'll open up. But the, she's a little, crispy in the box this side isn't too bad but this side you'll notice I know that when I hit it with the power washer I might just create a big hole there so I think we might end up doing a combined two to make one good truck because I think the frame on this one is way better than the other one um, the transfer case and everything this all works. You can see all, like this uh, is the side that was got more moss on it. You can't really probably see it much on the camera because of the, see it had somebody's name on there for, so we'll buff that all out. So we're gonna do a paint job on it anyway. It's in this door here. It's all punky at the bottom. I'm sure I can make another hole there if I wanted to. But yeah, uh, it's, oh, broken handle of course. They all have that. Um, but it's nice and clean. Like it's like the so floor solid underneath. Everything works the way it should. Like, I mean everything. The only thing that doesn't work is the AC. And he said it worked up until this, uh, a couple of months ago and he goes and it just started, uh, blowing warm. So I'm guessing it's just got a bad line that leaked the refrigerant out. They did fix up the seat here. So that's the only patch that's been in there. And like it's like I said, it's gonna be a hunting truck so I can live with that. And it has an issue with the, the seat wiggling. So something's loose. Hopefully it's an, just a neat, quick and easy fix. Um, as far as the, the steering and everything feels good. Like it drives like a friggin' caddy, nice and smooth, but the front end's a little loose. So I don't know, maybe the center link or tie rods are worn whatever but uh and all in all it's a good truck i'm not sure i like the cat's eye front end i don't know most a lot of people like the cat eye front end i prefer the other style front end so we might end up figure out first what truck we're going to build on so that would be the best frame and suspension and then we're going to go from there the best foundation is this one has all new brakes, all new suspension. It's got new springs in the back. Um, it's still got the factory original shocks by the looks of it. At least they're yellow, so it might have been the Monroe replacements at some point. But we'll do that. We'll jack the front end up, see if we can get some more lift on the front. And then it'll be a matter of just swapping in the best parts from both each truck. So this thing might, it will probably end up with both, all the doors off that other truck will end up on this one. The box is definitely better on the uh, on the step side, and uh, I don't know about this front end. We definitely got to take those funky grill 
we definitely have to pull these funky grill inserts out because I think they look like shite and I don't know we'll see what it cleans up to like that set of headlights and the lights and stuff is cheap enough it's got the it's got the fog lights underneath so we'll give her I'll give her a good power wash here and then we'll go from there and we'll, hopefully it doesn't blow half the truck away in dirt and rust well after the power washer where well, we got 90% of the moss off it I uh, also pulled those stupid goofy things out of the grill threw them right in the trash but the paint is uh, pretty damaged like you can see I just rub it like that and you can see where I it just the power washer is not strong enough to get all of it but uh, paint's painted out these things are all busted there come off and go in the trash uh, let's see but otherwise it's not really in bad shape so I don't know what to do now I think we'll just decide and uh, I'll go have a look at this side but it all cleaned up it's not so bad other than those back doors and it, since I got the other set of back doors to go I can put them on and I think we'll take her to the shop and see what it needs to pass through the safety but uh, all in all I don't think it's really that bad it drives nice and everything so it might need very minor work to actually put it on the road and then that'll make this one the one we're building on for sure so we'll have to get Ryan to drop it off at his buddy's place there he used to do a lot of business with this guy with car parts and stuff so uh, Ryan worked at the parts center and then we'll uh, see what she needs for safety the full exhaust it runs great cleaned up under the hood took that stupid thing off the hood thing there and uh, we'll go from there well maybe I'll give you a preview of the lack of power in it when we when I leave here today so we're back at the shop with the old 2003 and it it really hurts me and pains me to tell you this but I bought this for a parts truck so the reality is I had designated the parts already out and then once we drove it I thought well you never know because this thing drives and and rides so nice but the problem is those cab mounts are gone as you can see it's like that and it's unfortunately like that all the way across to the other side the other side is just the same so the cab is kaput I could spend all the time to pull the cab off and re-weld that all up but honestly I bought it for a parts truck so I think we're just gonna leave it a parts truck you know the whole leather interior is going in the uh, hi-ho Silverado of course the gauges some things I won't be able to use because the O3s changed so you can't use all the, the O3 wheel and all that stuff. I'd have to literally change the entire wiring harness and everything. So as much as it pains me, you can see just look how rusty. I got rust all over the seat just pulling this back and messing with it. But like it's rotten well up going up the footwell. So honestly, they don't sell those parts anymore to replace it. So I don't even think I'm going to bother with it. Um, I'm literally going to strip it down for parts uh, like the power seats and power doors and stuff I can put on the others uh, on the black Silverado the box on this one my son's buddy is probably going to take this box because he wants a slab side and not the step side so we're going to try and save all the running gear in the frame maybe we'll end up putting that cab and everything over onto this chassis because this one is perfect it's got new everything i think the only thing i haven't found that was was not replaced was the shocks and it rides like a limo so i can see why he didn't change them there's no engine tag on here but this will tell us all we need to know so if I can get a good picture of that with the camera, I can freeze frame it and use all those codes to figure out if it's got a 5.3 or what the gears are in it. And I think that one there, the, the old red one back there, has different gearing. I think this has the 373s 
versus that one maybe have the four tens i don't know i haven't checked that one either yet but uh like we've are like i have the, the mirrors are already spoken for i can i'll sell the front clip or as much of it as possible these doors here are not worth the effort because they're all rotten at the bottom unless somebody really want, is desperate for a pair because up here you never know they rot away and this is exactly the problems that you end up having to contend with a seemingly decent truck and it's good in all really all areas ex except it's rotted all across that that floorboard all the way to the other side and the passenger side looks just as bad as this if not worse that's the extent of the parts truck guys the uh like i said all new brakes and tires and the guy spent a whack of cash on fixing everything up only to find out that the cab had it is totally gone in the front which really sucks because it's it's a nice truck i think we'll we'll leave it intact for right now and tomorrow i'm gonna come and cut this one up into a million little pieces so it'll fit in the trailer and it's off to the scrapyard so guys that's the parts truck i haven't been able to get anything done on the uh on the red one but there's not a whole lot left she's just been sitting here as you can see let's see the back filled right to the yeah well it's not even as bad as i expected it to be tomorrow depends on what my kids are doing too because uh the, the brakes are starting to rust up on this and i want to get it moving before it uh i have to replace all that which means pulling them all off the black one and i just redid all the brakes and front hubs on this one and the worst part is i pulled it off and the hub wasn't even so bad the bearing wasn't that bad like the bearing wasn't noisy or anything it was the pickup for the abs had somehow got it was so rotten on the on the wheel where it reads that rust and everything it just destroyed it like literally pulled it apart so you touch the brakes and all of a sudden it would kick the abs on so it needed it anyways so it's got new, new hubs and all new brakes on all four corners and that thing doesn't need a thing much as i'm a chevy guy that's been a really good truck so that's the extent of the the uh parts truck hopefully in the next one we're getting some uh making some headway with the red one and parts off of this one